first time I met um, Babaka, it was in New Orleans. He was my coach and he really he did help me a lot. Um, he was giving me some motivation to keep playing hard. You know, I learned something about him because he was a great person. Coach Babaka, he definitely helped me a lot. Very good coach. He demanded a lot from me, but at that time I, I didn't realize maybe it was for my best. You know, I was young. I just kind of took it personal when he would yell at me and tell me stuff, but then as I got kind of adjusted to it, I knew whatever he would tell me would be for my best. He believed in me and, uh, you know, he was a very good coach. He really taught me a lot. Uh, his practice sessions were very good to where he was pretty detailed, working on a lot of stuff. He asked a lot from us, but, but he definitely helped me a lot. Uh, just overall, my game, my skills, how to act on the court, how to be on the court, how to be off the court. And uh, he helped me develop as a person as well. He's a life trainer. He's not just a basketball trainer to me. It took a lot of work to, to, to be where I'm at and get drafted in 2010 um, in the NBA. But um, it all started by meeting basically Baba Carsey. He gave me an opportunity that cannot be repaid for. He does so much, not just for me, but for so many other kids and other lives, Americans, uh, African, Europeans, and it's not, I mean, there's no limit to it. He finds a way to, to get to you mentally. Um, he will tell you the truth and give, put you in the right direction, basically. I've always had in me a passion for hard work, and it's a blessing for me to share that vision with high-level teachers of the game, dedicated and driven trainers who give you that attention to detail that makes careers. Aubrey McCreary, an elite NBA player skills trainer. Christian Belize and Steve Campbell, some of the top strength and conditioning trainers in the world. Yoga trainer Alicia Fisher, whose positive energy helped so many NFL and NBA players. It is a brilliant idea to train and give back at the same time, as some of the profits of this project will actually go to charities all around the world. Giving back, I think it's a great, great idea. It's kind of something I love to do. The work that you have to put in to get to the NBA is extreme, but it all depends how hard and how bad do you want the dream, and how much do you believe in your own dream.